Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on the HTV News Show, we have information on a gut-wrenching Super Bowl loss for Niners fans, Valentine's Day and Galentine's Day in a short week. All this and much, much more coming up on this Tuesday, February 13th, 2023, Gold Day edition of the HTV News Show. The news starts now. Good morning, Crocker. I'm Luke. And I'm Ethan. We'll be your Gold Day anchors for the rest of the trimester. Let's go over to our top story. We have a short week with the four-day weekend to honor Presidents Washington and Lincoln. This Friday and Monday are holidays as we celebrate two of the greatest presidents of all time. Enjoy your holiday, students. In the news, it was a Super Bowl of the ages. The 49ers took on the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 58, and it was epic. Las Vegas was wild. The Usher halftime show was amazing, and Taylor and Travis were there. The matchup between Patrick Mahomes, who is the, one of the greatest quarterbacks, and Brock Purdy, who at only 24 years old, is performing at the highest level. The game was a fight to the finish with a 19-19 tie at the end of the fourth quarter. The game went into overtime, and the Chiefs pulled off a win at the last minutes. 49er fans all over the world felt pain, felt the pain of the devastating loss to end their magical season. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and today's the time to make your parents and loved ones cards and buy them chocolates and flowers. And it's also the last day to buy those candy grams from the NPR to send to your friends or classmates at Crocker. Get ready for a day of love and goodwill tomorrow. Over Valentine's Day, my family and I take a trip to San Francisco to this small little diner. It's always so special because we only get to go once a year, but the people there still know us. We love to eat the food there because it's just so delicious and almost nobody knows about it. We also like to make candy grams and letters for our extended family and friends, and it's so special to see their smiles on their faces when they receive the note. For Valentine's Day, me and my family usually like to take a trip to my grandma's house and have some of her amazing food that she bakes for us. Then I also like to create candy grams and exchange them with my friends. I know that all of you celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow, but did you know that today is another wonderful day to celebrate the females in your life? Today is Galentine's Day. This holiday started in 2010 on the show Parks and Recreation. Galentine's Day is a day where you celebrate all the gals that we love. Make sure today to let all the girls in your life know how much you care about them. Speaking of all this love in the air, give some up for our performers who will be on stage in the special Valentine's Day open mic tomorrow at lunch. I'm Augustine, and I will be announcing the birthdays for the rest of the trimester. There are no birthdays for today, so I will see you next time. Have a great day, Crocker. Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Tom. Welcome back to Take a Trip into Leadership. We will still be selling candy grams in the NPR during morning recess up until Valentine's Day. This weekend, we have Monday and Friday off. The Valentine's Day dance is coming up February 22nd. Bye, Crocker. Bye. Hey, Vikings. Yesterday was the Lunar New Year celebration. We had a dragon dance performance in the gym, and at lunch, students participated in many cultural activities. I found the dance really enjoyable. My favorite part was when they had picked up a scroll and had dropped it, revealing text. I found that really enjoyable. My favorite part was um, getting to eat the yummy food. I had a lot of fun at the lion dancing and at the games outside the NPR. The pin the tail on the dragon was difficult. I found the dance really enjoyable. My favorite part was when they had picked up a scroll and had dropped it, revealing text. I found that really enjoyable. I was able to kick the flying thingy four times, which I think was hard, very, very hard. Yeah, I did, and then I lost it, and then a teacher helped me. Uh, well, then Miss Fairchild helped me, and she got me another boba. I really liked the line dancing in the gym because I thought it showed how that line dancers practice and dance. And the activity near the NPR was really fun because you could get snacks based on how well you do on the games, and you will earn, and you'll earn points. We want to thank all of the parents who prepared this wonderful day for us. Shin Yin Kwai La. This is a reminder that students playing video games in class at morning recess and at lunch will be issued consequences such as detention. 
This includes any game played on your Chromebook that is not a part of a class assignment or permissible by the teacher, including playing online chess and book it. Please remember everything you do on your Chromebook is logged and the district can see every website and search. At the beginning of the year, you agree to the district's Chromebook acceptable use policy. If you violate the policy, you will receive consequences and you may even lose access to your Chromebook. I am Penelope with your weather report. Today will be a bit cloudy with highs around 60 degrees and a storm is coming in to bring us some more rain by the end of the week. On Thursday, there is a good chance that it will rain, so wear your warm and dry clothes. I'm Wells with your intramurals. There are no intramurals today, but tomorrow we will have games. Game 1, Barbarians vs. Warriors, and Game 2, Scots vs. Samurai. Have a good day, Crocker. That's all for today. Have a great day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs>